hi welcome to my youtube channel i'm choma and on this channel we talk a lot about skincare like skincare product reviews skincare tutorials and all you need to know about skincare so if this is your vibe or if this is your kind of thing please don't forget to like subscribe and click the notification bell to notify anytime a video is being uploaded because you don't know what video will be uploaded next you don't even know if it's going to be beneficial to you or not so why don't you just click the notification button to be notified anytime a video is being uploaded then you will not find out if it's going to be beneficial to you or not but if you're a returning subscriber thank you for your love thank you for your support thank you so in today's video i'm going to be talking about dark knuckles that's what i'm going to be discussing about in today's video like i saw a comment in my one of my videos of my subscriber that asked me to talk about dark knuckles so this is why i'm talking about it so if you know you want me to say anything or you want me to tell you guys anything or any skincare issues you want me to like touch that part do what to leave a comment on it so i can actually talk about it because if you don't leave a comment how am i supposed to know what you are in need of so just do well to leave a comment on what you want me to talk about and i'll talk about it so I'll be talking about dark knuckles, the causes of dark knuckles, and the treatment of dark knuckles. That's what I'm going to be discussing about in today's video. A lot of things that causes dark knuckles, like in my head and all the researches I've made, it has a lot of causes. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the causes of dark knuckles. The number one cause of dark knuckles is using of unsafe cream, like cream that contains steroid, mercury like harmful chemicals using those type of creams can also cause dark knuckles then if your dark knuckles is gotten from using creams like this then this is how to address it i'm going to be talking about it now firstly you have to like stop using that product throw it away like stop using that product throw it away like remove your eyes from that product and throw it away then you go for clean and nice moisturizers to help moisturize that area so in this case if that you made use of lightening products like lightening products gave you that dark knuckles you don't need to use lightening products again to clear the dark knuckles you don't have to go for another alternative that will clear the dark knuckles without using what gave you the dark knuckles back okay wait wait see let's forget there is no dark knuckles cream dark knuckles or you're like let's let's just wipe it off there is nothing like that okay for the meantime let's say it will peel off that knuckles but it will come back you know right it will surely come back so this is what will help you clear the dark knuckles because from my experience i'm telling you from my experience because there was a time i used this um lotion pyric egyptian lotion guys like i don't even want i will not even advise my enemy to use that lotion like that lotion huh it really dealt with me it really did but when i used it it gave me dark knuckles it gave me stretch mark it gave me dark leg like two colors like you know that cook leg it actually did and i cleared it off without using dark knuckles cream dark i cleared it off by myself but this is me telling you what i did to clear it off so if your dark knuckles is caused by unsafe using of unsafe products then i won't advise you to use unsafe products again to clear these dark knuckles this is what you are going to do to clear it just get a moisturizer like the likes of Nivea, Dove, E45 like moisturizers have you know like I'm going to be leaving pictures of good moisturizers you can use on the screen if you cannot get any of them so when using these moisturizers your skin will repair over time like you don't even need to stress yourself you will see your skin repairing by itself and when you're using these moisturizers and you stop your bleaching products i have used this for a long period of time and there is no change like long period of time like six months eight months then there is no change that is where you need to go and see your dermatologist like your doctor that is the time for you to use it so if the cause of your dark knuckles is causing from using unsafe products and please i won't advise you to make use of lightening products again to clear that dark knuckles i won't advise you to do that another cause of dark knuckles is hereditary yes genetics is another cause see if you know that you have dark knuckles 
since when you were small just leave it like it's normal for we dark people to have dark knuckles like your some side of your body will be a shade darker than the rest of your body it can be your knuckles your elbow your knees your armpit your tight like see it is normal so if your dark knuckles is, is from where you were small like and you let's see let's say that you are confused in this case now you are confused to know hey is it from my parents like is it genetics or is it hereditary like then this is the thing to do look at your mom look at your dad look at your siblings like look at everybody around you like in your family and if they have the same dark knuckles then is there a you just let it be just leave it don't no stress yourself to clear it As a lot of people might say you bleach your skin that's why you have dark knuckles no let it go because you know that you did so don't let it bother you don't let it get to you you get so if it's hereditary just let it be just let it be so don't even try to use a lightening product to try and clear it or to try and correct it because you are going to make it worse so just let it be and don't feel bad about it that's natural for you another cause of dark knuckles is underlying health condition there are some health conditions that causes dark knuckles for example pcos hormonal imbalance even diabetes and some vitamin c deficiency it causes dark knuckles so if you start noticing dark knuckles and you are not using any harmful products and you check around you like i said and it's not hereditary then you need to see a doctor you need to see a doctor to know if you have any health issue that is causing darkening of your knuckles or darkening of your area some areas like your underarm your knees your dark your dark thighs yes your dark neck yes so try as much as you can to check this so when you see this and you know it's not hereditary you don't use bleaching products then try as much as you can to see your doctor now we have talked about the causes of dark knuckles let's talk about the treatment but before i dive into the treatment if you are loving this video and you find this video helpful to you just subscribe to this channel and like leave a comment and turn on the post notification bar to notify anytime a video is being uploaded because we post a lot of things about skincare so let's dive into the treatment of dark knuckles the first treatment on my list is exfoliating that area like in this case you don't even need lightening products you need to exfoliate that area if you go through my page i always talk about exfoliating your skin like exfoliating helps in a lot of ways it helps to remove their skin cells it helps to renew the skin cells it helps to boost the production of collagen in your skin and it also helps to brighten your skin exfoliating your skin helps in a lot of ways so exfoliate that area very well okay let me not explain it very well for you let's say you can't afford to buy scrub body polish okay let me not help you when you get your african sponge like you want to beat like your hand we have three joints we have here we have here we have here good so when you want to be just fold out your sponge and bend your hand like this scrub here scrub yes fold here scrub here fold here scrub it scrub here scrub here like don't forget any part like scrub here scrub here scrub here then after beating you moisturize your skin like well okay let me explain to you when you want to moisturize apply your moisturizing lotion then you keep your hand like this apply it here apply it here apply it here well let me show you for example using this nivea lotion to moisturize the area let me show you for example let's say you want to moisturize the area all you just have to do is to take your cream pop it in your hand then you fold your hands like this then you fold your hands like this you apply it here you get you apply it here before they apply it apply it on those areas like this is you moisturizing those areas because we tend to when you're applying your lotions or when you're applying your body or your when you're applying your soap or anything when you're basically we tend to like bait yeah like we tend to bait like yeah like bait you don't even pay attention to this joint area and that's why most of them are dark yes so in those joint area when you're beating don't forget them just fold it like this like apply it apply 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 just apply it and you will see the results you're going to get from it like in which time to come where you're doing it like this 
So when you're bathing, don't forget this area. Exfoliate it. Even when you're exfoliating, like I said, bend your hand, apply it like this, apply it like this, apply your sponge, your scrub, like any everything you're using. Just don't forget any areas. Just apply it. It's going to help in the long way when it comes to your dark. No. Then if you are the type that you can afford the scrub, like I said in the explanation, fold your hands, scrub, 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 scrub. Don't forget any part of your hand. Don't forget it. Scrub it to help the good products you are going to apply your needs to work. When I talk about exfoliating the area like bio scrub, polish or anything, and you are confused on the type of scrub or polish to go for, then check my page. I made a video on, a, like a detailed video on body scrub. Like a type of body scrub, like a whole lot of body scrub. You can pick any body scrub from the video and make use of it and it's still going to perfectly work. So now I have talked about the first step. Let's talk about the second step, which is moisturizing the area. You need to moisturize the area. Like that area needs a lot of moisturizing. Like you need to use a moisturizing lotion like Nivea, Dove, E45, Dove, um, V, like a whole lot. Like I'm going to be leaving the pictures on them. There are a lot of moisturizing body lotions you can use. And then add oil to your routine. To help lock in the moisturizing lotion, add oil to your routine. We have a lot of oil. Check my page too. I have a detailed video on oil to make use of. I have a detailed video on them. So you can pick any one from there to make use of. So, and let's say if you can't afford those type of oil, you can just buy all the single-handed oil, like oil, like jojoba oil, almond oil, like any type of oil. You can also buy coconut oil too, to help apply it there, to help moisturize that area. Because this area is dry. You see this our joint area, it is very dry. So, it needs a lot of moisturizing products in that area. And another tip to help is to apply sunscreen to your routine. Do what to add sunscreen to your routine. Be applying sunscreen to your routine. Because like when you go out, apply sunscreen because you don't need sun to be on that area, darkening that area more. So apply sunscreen on those areas to help blend in that area. So with this tip that I told you, you don't even need to spend much and you don't even need a lot of products. And once you are patient and you follow this step that I gave you, you will see your knuckles clearing. It's an assurance I'm going to give to you. You will see your knuckles clearing. That's it. So this is it for the end of this video. If you find this video helpful and you want to see things like this from me, please do wait to like, subscribe and click the notification bar to notify anytime a video is being uploaded.